Jonathan Price was an upstanding citizen loved by many with lots of hopes and dreams, a scholar to his community accustomed to doing great things, shot and killed attempting to prevent a feud, unarmed, no weapons, just a colored dude, just simply a good deed caused us to lose a king singled out by evil that should have never been given authority. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. where anything can be served without judgment. Now, this evening, I'm going to share a story with you guys about Mr. Jonathan Price, the young man that lost his life, you know, for simply intervening a domestic dispute in Texas. Let me go ahead and get this story pulled up and then um, read it to you guys, and then we're going to talk about it. Okay, so the title of this story is Jonathan Price, was shot four times in the torso, according to probable cause affidavits. So the story states that Wolf City police officer Sean Lucas said he was responding to a report of a disturbance and a possible fight at 8.30 p.m. at a quick check store. The entire interaction is captured on a body-worn camera and details of the video are cited in the affidavits. So Ashley Merritt, who's the attorney for Price Family, said that the situation was resolved before law enforcement arrived, according to the witnesses. The attorney said why this officer felt the need to tase and shoot Jonathan is beyond comprehension. And I feel the same way. If it was already resolved, what was your purpose? Like, what did you want? After arriving at the store, Lucas was greeted by Price who came very close to Lucas and asked, you doing good? Multiple times, according to the affidavits, Price tried to shake the officer hands. Lucas thought Price was intoxicated. He attempted to detain Price when Price told him, I can't be detained, the affidavit states. So my point is, is just because someone is greeting you and offering a gesture of shaking your hand, you think that they're intoxicated and you want to detain them for that? Officer Lucas continued to attempt to detain Price by grabbing Price's arm and using verbal commands, which were both unsuccessful, the affidavit says. Why did you feel like it was so necessary for you to keep attempting like to grab him and start using verbal commands. All he did was offer a gesture. Lucas told Price he would be tased if he didn't comply and Price began to walk away according to the affidavits. And then it states that Lucas deployed the taser but the affidavit says that the device was not fully effective and Price continued to walk toward Officer Lucas while being tased. Then, according to the affidavits, Price appeared to reach out and grab the end of the officer's taser, and Lucas shot him four times in the upper torso. So it looks like this officer just wasn't going to let it go. Attempting to detain this young man, he grabs him by his arm, he tases this man, he shoots him in his torso four times, not even fully understanding what was even going on at the store. Did you do your actual job of responding to the disturbance that was actually going on at that store that night? Let's talk about Mr. Jonathan Price. So Jonathan Price, he was a Wolf City employee that was well known in the community. He had played football for Harding Simmons University in Abilene. He was a personal trainer, a bodybuilder with dreams of starting his own center. 
He has never been violent. He was simply intervening a domestic dispute at a convenience store in a small Texas city. My God, he even offered the man a handshake, asking if he was doing good, only to be killed by a 22-year-old officer who has only been on the force since April of 2020. I think that's less than six months. Proof that this police officer did not have enough experience in his job. So it's being said that the attorney that's representing Jonathan Price's family, someone told him that when the police officer arrived, Jonathan Price rose his hands attempting to explain to the officer what was going on. But during the stun gun incident, what happened is, is when the officer began tasing him, you know how your body start having electric currents and you get the moving and stuff? And that threatened the officer is what they were saying. And the officer got scared. And because he's inexperienced, he didn't know how to react to that. And he started shooting and then shot him to death. So he basically put himself in a position that he couldn't even handle. You didn't even know what the taser was going to do. They say if you're scared, go to church. And not only does Jonathan Price's family want this officer to be fired, but as well his family and his mom, they want him to spend the rest of his life in prison. The mom is saying her son got life and he should get life too. Jonathan moms want justice for her son. She wants justice for her baby. She wants this officer to feel the same pain that their family is feeling. And I don't blame her because you put yourself in a situation that you could not handle. And thank God that they now have these body cameras. But I really hope that these body cameras start serving their purpose. Because police officers, their job is to protect us and to provide a service to the community. But lately, all it seems they've been doing is just serving all our people up. And I'm so sorry that this happened to you, Jonathan. You rest in peace, baby. So thank you guys so much for allowing me to present this story. Please make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. As well, go to my website, www.kaylesstalkaboutit.com. On my homepage, you can actually link up to all of my social media sites. And then I do have a contact us page. If you want to submit information that you would like for me to present on my platform, go ahead and provide that information and we'll make it happen. And until next time, our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it. Our world has real people with real problems. Let's talk about it.